This video shows how to create a bracing node for the structure seen in video 10, which discussed importing a FAM model into CSE and searching for J nodes. J node AQ, which we will consider here, is hierarchic and has no attachments. Let's look at the renode associated with J node AQ, which is the only one currently selected. The J-node occurs several times in the structure, but we only need to build and check one of its associated renodes. Initially, only the members are present. Because no rigid offsets have been defined in the FEM model, here the two bracings and the beam overlap. We trim the bracings. We work out how much to trim them by. We can select the most convenient view for inserting the plate to be welded to the main beam. We insert a rectangular plate. Now we add a weld layout to connect the plate to the beam. Next we add the first bolt layout to fix a bracing to the plate. When the face on which the screws are to lie is selected, CSC automatically recognizes the objects to be drilled according to their position. We add the second layout to connect the other bracing. We check the connection for consistency and for overlaps. The objects do not overlap. All the components are connected correctly. Next, the chains are shown. These are the possible paths between the slave members and their master.
The settings for the checks have already been specified. This dialog box is used to choose, among the other options, the reference standard, the safety factors, the methods of computing the internal forces, the checks to run, and the check on the component shift. We check that Eurocode has been selected as the reference standard and that the checking combinations are those from the imported FAM model. Let's check the connection. The checks have been completed. The results listing, if requested, is shown automatically. And now all the post-processing commands are available to analyze the results. For example, we can show the utilization envelope to find out the worst case for each component. The connection that we have built manually here is already in the archive. After resetting the content of the current node, we can take a quick look at how to apply it automatically, without going into detail. If we want different dimensions, we can modify some of the parameters in real time during the automatic construction or we can make the necessary changes when construction has been completed. 